All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. And shalom unto the Aqua, which is the women believers. Shalom unto you. And um, when in doubt, remember this. You know, the times that we're heading into and um, always remember that the Lord warned us. And also he controls everything, even the man who is boasting in his great pride. So it said, who governed the world, talking about the Lord, with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will. So in the scriptures, the elect is already foretold to win. So let me get a quick one. <clears throat> this is Yahweh Shah talking to the disciples. It said, these things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So if you are a believer of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, he already conquered the world and the elect is already foretold to win. So it said, who governed the world and all things, oh, with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will. For he is the king of all by his power, dividing the holy things among them from profane. Now, what made me want to get into this video, you know, I mean, I just, I'm the kind of person that, you know, I watch and pray. So. I watch a lot of things and even, um, you know, our beloved apostles and elders, you know, I watch everything and I'm seeing what this man is really trying to do. And then, you know, he's really, really trying to turn everybody into a robot, <laughs> you know, and he's really boasting of his technology. And, and if he can get that device inside you, you know, he really believed that he can take over your consciousness, you know. So that's why I'm saying like. Job 14 and five said, matter of fact, let me just get it. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. You has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. And that goes for everybody. But especially for the rulers that think that's why they that's why they talk the way that they talk. They talk like 2045 and I, um, the biggest devil that's in the forefront, you know, Yuval Noah Harari talking about, you know, 100 years from now in the next century, it'll be no humans. It'd be none but, you know, robots and things like that. But that's what I'm talking about. So. These people really think that they're going to accomplish, you know, the world to come. I ain't going to use their terms because they like to, you know, give people strikes and things. But, you know, basically to change the world into the way that they view it, to change man in his in their image. All right. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to change man into their image when the Lord have made us in his image. So he got bounced that he cannot pass. So, um, so let me see. <clears throat> so let's say, Hear, therefore, O you kings, and understand, learn, you that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear, you that rule the people, and the glory in the multitude of nations, and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is giving you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search out all your counsels. So the Lord is telling you that the only reason that you are on top, the only reason that you are even allowed to put your, what you think 
um, make a man in your image. The only reason that you are even allowed to even try this is because the Lord is just trying your ways. You're all you're doing is sealing your fate. Esau, Edom, all you doing is sealing your fate. Unbelievers of Israel, all you doing is going to die with him. Though Jan, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Proverbs 11 and 21. All right. So the Lord is the one telling you, like, listen, the only reason that you are even ruling right now is because of me. Verse four. Because being ministers of his kingdom, you have not judged aright, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the most high. And the thing is, is that as it says in Psalms 10, they don't have the thoughts of the Lord in their mind. They walk after their own way. So the Lord is judging you each day. You, you, you see the way that the world is ran. The law is slacked. That's why the world is in chaos right now. Nobody have the fear of the Lord, but the believers. And we are not in the power seat. We are about to enter into the power seat. But since we're not in the power seat, this is the world that you get. I'm going to read it again and say, because being ministers of his kingdom. All right. Because guess what? Since the world is given unto you. You supposed to guard it, keep it and push the Lord's way. And it said the ministers of his kingdom. That's talking about his children. So you are over his children. And guess what you did? You didn't tell them who they are. You didn't tell you didn't show them the right way. It said, woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink that putteth the bottle to him and maketh him drunk also that you may as look on their nakedness. And you did that crack drugs. All right. Our music. You fund our downfall. Psalm 62 and four said that you are here to only cast us down from our excellency. So. For again, verse four, it said, because being ministers of his kingdom, you have not judged the right, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the most high. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. All right. And then you got to even think about our people who made a covenant with death, who cleave on to this devil, who are. Uh, as it say in Isaiah 9 and 16, you know, the leaders of my people, you know, cause my people to go astray. Because what they do, they are the gatekeepers. They will pick a, a celebrity, you know, to guide Jake into death. All right. They will pick a celebrity to make them, you know, push forth their agenda for our people to follow. So that's why in this scripture right here is twofold because it's talking about our people, too. Because you got a person like Kanye, you got a person like Kyrie. Now, the Lord, you know, he's in control of the narrative. So you're going to have people that's going, you know, come into the fold of the truth out of that. But they pushing a whole bunch of confusion. So the things that Kanye say, he basically try to say that. The white people and the black people you got to use those terms because that's what, you know, the world know people as. But the white people and the black people, we are all the same people. And then you want to keep on talking about Christ gang and Jesus. This that's off. Then you got Kyrie. He just in every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So those people, too, they're going to pay. They're going to perish. So verse five and again. It said, horribly and speedily shall he come upon you for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. For mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. Now, the word mean in today's term, you know, which is new speak. That means, you know, to be rude, you know, not to have, you know, 
manners, you know, and things like that. But the origin of the root word mean it actually really means to be in a low estate. So when it says for mercy will soon pardon the meanness, it's talking about people that's in a low estate. And that makes me. This is this is what Yahweh came to preach to. This is Yahweh. So if I was in the blue letter, it'd be red right now. This is Yahweh speaking. He said the Lord, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and to recover covering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised. All right. Us as a nation, as a whole, this fits us to the T. We the one need a savior. We the ones that went into captivity. We don't. We the ones that when you go into these, you know, government summits, nobody speak on our behalf. Everybody got a military, but Israelites don't. But our military is galactic. Yahweh and the angels fight on our behalf. So. So it said for mercy will soon pardon the mean. As a matter of fact, let me prove to you that mean. So. It got a lot of definitions to mean, but I want to prove to you that it means people of a low estate. So intend, have in mind, plan, indicate. So actually mean also is to have an opinion, to think, have intentions. But the one that I want to show you. Down here. This one. So it's a common or low origin inferior in rank or status all right so these are people of low estate and in this one look it say without dignity of mind nobody you know look at us as a people of dignity they look at us as a, just a good slave so going back so for for mercy will soon pardon the meanness talk about the people of a low estate but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. And what's that? Isaiah 2. Yep. It said the lofty looks of men shall be humble and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down. And the Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah alone shall be exalted in that day. So that's what's going to happen when Yahweh Shah cracked them clouds. Those people. Who are literally in the power seat right now, thinking that they about to establish making men in their own image. All right. Uh, having the po uh, population to a certain number and, you know, causing all this chaos and thinking that they're going to come out of the chaos. But yes, we did it. No. Verse 12 for the day of Yahweh of hosts, which is his army. Shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. All right. So it said, For he, verse 7, for he which is Lord over all shall fear no man, man's person. For he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person, neither shall he. He stand in awe of any man's greatness. So this is the way that you're supposed to look at this damn Edomite. Only person you're supposed to fear is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, even when your life is hanging in doubt. Because guess what? We are going to be, you know, approaching hard times. And we are going to be in a position of difficulty. The Lord even said, you know, the straight gate. And that gate is about to get more straighter. So when the orchestrated famine come. When he do get um, a lawless society for he could bring a solution, which we all know what that is, the karagma. But you got to understand a lot of stuff is going to happen before then. Pestilence, uh, lawless society. When you go to second address, it talks about. Matter of fact, I'm going to end it on that. 
So it said, for he had made small and great and care for all the light. All right. Because even in Proverbs 29 and 2, it says that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. The only people who is not going to receive mercy is Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white people since 1681, the devil that the Bible speak of. So this is what's coming to the world. So this is the, so you, 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 all right, in the flesh, you're going to, you're going to, you know, have moments where you're going to be in doubt. But that's why I'm making this video. Lord willing, I remember the title. When in doubt, remember this. The Lord he, the Lord is in control. So it says, Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw off nigh. One people shall stand and fight against another with swords in their hand. A the modern day sword is guns. And it says, For there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's a lawless society. And ain't going to be no police in that day. Who you going to call? If you don't got a covering of the Lord, hey, you just shit out of luck. And it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right. That's you. That's martial law right there. And that's, you know, <clears throat> you got peace troopers, mercenary groups. You know, you got, you it, man, it's going to be a lot going on. That's why the Lord said, if he ain't short in the days, there will be no flesh saved. So imagine you, wherever you be at, because you're going to be a pilgrim on the earth. Wherever you be at, you're going to be stationary. All right. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about the FEMA camps. So it says, um, for because of their pride. The city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. A man shall be afraid. A man should not have pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation, which is a famine in which you already know a famine is going to bring a lawless society. These high ass food prices going to continue to go up. That's going to bring a lawless society because people ain't going to be able to afford it. So what that's going to uh, cause stealing, breaking in. And then guess what? Guns going to come out because uh, the stores going to want to protect their product. And then you already know they already militarize the police. They're going to start militarizing store on owners. This is going to be all out war, man. That's what he want, though, because that's how they deal order out of chaos. So going back to the first scripture. This is what you, you, you have to always have this in mind, because we're coming into perilous times, as they say in Second Timothy three and one. In the last days should come perilous times. But the Lord said that he got our back, man. He got our back. So the Lord, he governs everything with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will. So when in doubt, remember. The Lord is in control. And as I say in Romans 8 and 31, if the Lord is for us, who could be against us? All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Shalom.